figure is still a good figure. What part of that didn't you? This is Earthrise Scorpionite, and that's a tub that has a bunch of my stuff in it. If you smell what the rock is. Hey everybody, welcome to Review Time with Isip. I am Isip, and today we're going to be taking a look at the reissue Beast Wars, the Transformers, uh, Megatron, ultra-sized Megatron. So, this is the back of the box, and uh, there is a blurb that you can read if you want to. I will raise this up real quick. Okay, give me a second. All right, you should be able to read that. Pause it if you want to. I am not going to go any further with that. Let's go back down. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. There we go. Okay, so there's the box. Uh, it has the Kenner logo on it because at the time Kenner was doing the Beast Wars figures. Uh, and I am having an issue. Well, I'm having an issue with my doodly D or right there. Okay. So, oh, uh, you can take a look at the back of the box. You see Megatron, Optimus, Cheetor, Rat Trap. Those are the only four in the wave at the moment. Here's a nice little uh, cutout card bio if you want to. His accessories. The front of the box, which is empty. There's little anchor missiles, which I haven't taken out. Don't need to. Um, and here we go with Megatron. Oh, let's do this correctly. There we go, Megatron. And he is a very purpley uh, dinosaur. Now, he was supposed to be purple. And the, ooh, okay, the original toys, he was more of a great. Okay, everything's falling apart. Now here we have our Megatron in his purpley dinosaur. His purple and green seem a little more uh, vibrant than they were for the original toy. I've seen pictures of the original toy and he looked more gray with kind of very, very, very faded green. This is a much darker looking, uh, it looks, good to me I don't care I like it he is Barney the dinosaur in real life and he looks nice I mean uh, kind of grotesque and not as I mean his his update counterpart obviously looks a lot better but he's still pretty cool he has he has the you open the mouth up and there's a little squirt thing inside. The tongue squirts water. I didn't do it. I'm not going to. Um, you can take that part out if you want to. He's got little claws with a teeny weeny little bicep muscle like he's working out those teeny weeny little arms. He's got that. Um, unfortunately, his fingernails weren't painted, uh, but his toenails are painted. He has legs that really don't do much. They just kind of bend at the knee. Uh, toes do that and that's about it and nothing really with the tail so there's that I'll bring in his the other uh, version of this mold I have the uh, T-Rex which honestly I think looks way better the uh, the red with the blue stripes just honestly way better no offense to Megatron also his eyes aren't red in the show his eyes are red but uh, that's neither here nor there and I see they also didn't paint his 
fingernails on this one here, but they painted the toenails, so okay, whatever. And here is the updated uh, Megatron, where the colors are almost the same. The, 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 the purple on here is just a, shy, a, sh a shade darker, and the green is a little greener than on the original Megatron, but um, yeah, otherwise, uh, definitely, obviously, a really nice update, but the original toy was nothing to sneeze at either. So there's that. Uh, let's see. I do have an Optimus Prime we can take a look at. In this mode, we have the Universe Optimus Primal, who is in these weird colors, but I kind of like them. I dig them, and I love that he has painted in eyes, whereas uh, the original did not. So. It was, th this is definitely out of scale in the show and probably in real life. I always imagined him as a, there was a gorilla that was gigantic. It was much bigger in prehistoric times than the gorillas we have now. I always imagined that Optimus being that gorilla and that's how he was able to scale with Megatron. But no, nope, the show, in the show, I remember things differently. Megatron's a much smaller T-Rex than he should be and Optimus is a regular sized girly but yeah so there you go if you ever wanted to get them both in a shot uh if you wanted to, to see what both of them kind of look like you just imagine him in black and gray so that said uh we'll go ahead and transform him so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just start opening stuff up opening stuff up well, let's see, this comes out as well. Open these up. So that'll come out, and you can close that back up if you want to. That's, you know, however you want to do it. You can do that. Uh, the, the, that's just pretty much the way that goes. So we will, let's see, turn. Let's see. Okay, what do we do? That goes up like that, and... Trying to remember because I am old and I forget how things go. It goes out of the way. Get that out the way. Let's see if we can get this out the way. I thought it was going to be a lot easier to do, but of course it's not. So we need to get that turned like so. Then it goes back like this and then you push it back. Yeah, that goes back like that. Then is back in and these pieces just make sure these pieces are to the side and they should I think they plug in somewhere do they plug in I don't know I wasn't paying attention okay there we go like that and then the arms wherever you want them these go down like so, like so. Straighten out his legs, which are nicely ratcheted. Rotate them around. Pull back the heel to reveal uh, another heel. And that is really just about, about it. There isn't very much more to do with this guy. get his kibble out to the side like that and there you have what the heck why is this so I'm not, I don't got this thing in what's supposed to be there we go and there we go we have Megatron in his beast mode no in his robot mode with his alternate with his mutant mask on so you just go ahead and ouch open this up to reveal his hurt yes. and there you have Megatron and he looks 
cool he is definitely not in show colors i can tell you that this is definitely not the colors of the show but he looks nice uh his bat wing ears kind of remind me of the r.i.d megatron which actually came afterwards i guess that one reminds me of this um yeah it's cool to have the official original toy i have like i said i have t-rex who was my stand-in for megatron for a while but um it's just nice to have the actual proper dude so we'll go over articulation really quick his head rotates pretty much all the way around uh it is on a ball joint so it does move a little bit or swivel i think it's a swivel uh he has rotation at the shoulders his arms go in and out at the shoulders as well he has bendy at nine more than at almost a double bend at his his elbow um his this thing here goes in and out it is there's a gimmick for that i'll show you that in a minute rotation on this side in and out and that's about it his <coughs> excuse me his mouth does open but it's on a spring so it doesn't stay open uh rotation at the hips his legs forward all the way back uh, 90 degrees and his toes move like so and that's pretty much it I mean, there's little, these things move around, but they're supposed to have anchor missiles on them. So you put the missiles on and you press these things on the side and they shoot out. Um, otherwise, they just kind of hang out there and that's it. There we go. And I keep knocking over my set. There you go. Fix my set a bit again. So, like I said, he does have he does have a uh, does have a gimmick aside from obviously the spitting water gimmick and the mask gimmick. If you what is it? Do you pull it or do you push it? You're supposed, there we go. Yep. You're supposed to do something with this and then this opens and closes. It looks like I busted mine. It is what it is, but it's supposed to make that open and close. I don't care. I don't really like this really lanky arm. Hold on. Let's fix that. So, I like his arms being more symmetrical as far as the length is concerned. But I usually don't have him in robot mode anyway. He has lots of detail on him. None of it's really painted. Let me turn up the... He's really glossy too, so I don't know if I should do this. There we go. Turn that up. Um, he is molded really nicely. He's pretty cool. Um, I can't really say go out and get him unless you are a fan of the uh, original Beast Wars, which I used to not be, but somewhere along the line, I became a fan. Now, as far as his height is concerned, uh, let's see, what do we have? We have, here is a current deluxe figure. As you can see, he's uh, sort of like a, a, a in-between Voyager, a classic Voyager sizing, classic, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in classic leader size. He's, he's sort of in the middle, but he's really chunky. Here we have uh, my incomplete OG Optimus Primal sporting the not quite so accurate colors, especially when it comes to the head. The head is too blue and it's got a red back. But, um, yeah, Megatron is shorter where, as on the show, he was a little bit taller. 
so yeah there's not much more to say about this fella um, get him if you like Megatron you're a fan of this Megatron not the one from the Kingdom show because that Megatron sucked I mean the toy was great but the, the character sucked oh my gosh um, but yeah, if you're a fan of the original, uh, I always call it G1 Beast Wars, get him. You, you really you can't really do wrong with him. He is, the, you know, if you're a fan of the old toys, he's the old toy, just with uh, slightly more vivid uh, dino colors. Otherwise, he's the same thing. That said, I'm Iced Up. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And ciao. Also, before I forget, if you aren't a fan of the Batwings look for Megatron, they uh, they just clip in, so you can just pull them right out. No harm, no foul. See? And I'll just put them back in just to show you that they go back in. Please don't make me a liar. So that's one and two so yeah just wanted to show you that uh you don't have to have the bat wings on you can also if you're good with paint you can go ahead and grab two of these if you want to paint one up or grab one and paint it up however you want to do yeah thanks for watching again ciao